Sheen shot. Yeah, boy. I've been hearing for quite some time now that Deep Rock Galactic was a great game. It's got cool classes, tons of things to shoot, and might be the most fun co-op game of all time. That all sounded really promising, so I had to hop in and give it a try. Fortunately, I was not disappointed. At all. This game is simple. I mean, you start a mission and try to complete an objective. We've detected an area filled with the quarks, and you get to bring them all back. Search for a blue shimmering light and extract the quark from within the walls. You send in a specialized heavy lifter, and we're expecting heavy resistance, so the lifter's been equipped with heavy armaments. But keep focus, it's about the goods. While you do that objective, hordes of spider like aliens try to eat you, web you up, and even explode the whole map. There are four unique classes to choose from that you can switch between at any time, and that's about it. But that's all it needs. The shooting is fun. The mining is fun. And of course, the drinking is hilarious, to say the least. Why the beard? <sighs> oh, that's nice. Feeling much better now. Deep Rock Galactic has comical dialogue, fun action, and plenty of different objectives to task yourself with. I can't wait to play more of this game, especially since the co-op is top-notch. Another rock box glyphing down! My first mission was mostly tutorial stuff. I learned how to mine, empty my resources, and shoot. The second mission I hopped into co-op and tried out the scout. Now, what my friend tried to tell me was that the scout takes no fall damage because he can use his grappling hook to stop his fall. What I heard was, Scout takes no fall damage. So I had a heck of a time jumping off walls and wondering why in the world a 50 foot drop would kill me. Suffice to say the Scout is extremely fun due to mobility and easy access to resources. My third mission however, I decided to go with Driller, and here's where the fun really began. I geared up, grabbed a quick drink, and buckled up for one heck of a time. This time around, our goal is to collect some alien eggs. What for? Dwarves don't really ask those kinds of questions, so we continue on to find out that I have drills on this character. They dig into rock and dirt almost immediately, letting me make tunnels and basically create my own arena if I want to. I also have an explosive detonator, which I imagine deals massive damage to enemies. If I didn't waste them all goofing off. Ready to blow! This level or stage has blue crystals, which apparently chain lightning or electricity. Remember those throughout this video, as I tend to walk right into them constantly. I think we need to dig here. After digging our way into the next room, we run into this collection of goopy tissue, a sort of nest for these alien eggs. My drill makes quick work of this type of structure, but to my surprise, the drill doesn't mine ore. Since gold just happens to be in the middle of this nest, I have to do it the old-fashioned way. One pick swing at a time. Doesn't take long for us to clear the gold and get my drills going again, and as soon as I do, we find an egg. An alien egg. Ready to be built. And touching it, of course, causes a huge roar to be heard all throughout the cave, which must mean we're doing something right. Swarms of these spider-like aliens charge us and seem to come from nowhere and everywhere at the same time. It turns out mm, I have a flamethrower, which makes short work of these pesky creatures and apparently my grenades are instead massive axes that I can chuck at things. So I'm not really worried at this point. I got the Glyphid Praetorian! With maybe a bit too much confidence, we begin to explore the cave while gathering flowers. Why do dwarves need flowers? I already told you, it doesn't matter. Get back to work! 
A little on down the road, I'm minding my own business, right? Digging out a green crystal that I assume will make me more powerful. And a massive alien shows up. This thing is apparently called a detonator. I bet you can guess it, it explodes. But this variant will actually explode the area into gold. We're dwarves, after all, and love gold for upgrades and, of course, more drinks. So my buddy tells me to dig a hole straight into the wall so we can bait him in. Me, knowing literally nothing at this point, I start digging and then turn around and start digging in the wrong direction. Of course, this was a bad decision to make, as the idea was to have a long path so you don't get caught in the explosion. So I begin frantically digging in the correct spot again, and eventually the thing explodes in a massive detonation. Thankfully, we were unharmed. And this was absolutely crazy. The whole place had been turned into gold. Insanely lucky for my third mission, and I guess we would have to mine it all. But a meteor also struck right after this, so the mining would have to go on hold for now. But don't worry, we'll be back for that sweet haul. Prepare for impact. Clear the danger zone and take cover. With Season 3 being out, there's a sort of alien disease that acts as a virus, and we must research it or get rid of it. This meteor is filled with the stuff, and we're tasked with cracking it open for what's inside. The game turns into a tower defense as my buddy sets up turrets with his spongy platforms, and I spray and pray fire all over everything. I made a flat. We have to defend the machinery, but the darn stuff happens to break halfway through. Dwarven equipment, am I right? I get on the repairs, and once again the operation is back up and running. The hammer is operational again! Try job down! Where is that dead? One thing I really love about this game is that when you're about to start a big fight, the action music really starts to ramp up. You feel like something dangerous is coming your way, before the aliens even reach you. Rockpox Meteor has been cracked. Remember to deposit the samples you find inside. After slaying some more creepy crawlies, the rock pox meteor is finally cracked open, revealing what I could only describe as stiff spaghetti. This stuff actually moves around when you collect it. Uh, all I'm saying is this cannot be safe. After clearing out this disgusting mess, we decided to get the gold last and focus on gathering eggs for the moment. We still need three at this point, and they don't seem to be anywhere near us. This was because all three were holed up in the back of this cavern which meant we had to dig in and fight off a crap ton of these guys. This was by far the best part of the level as swarms of enemies kept coming at us and we just shoot them in the head or the back sometimes. It really depends on whether the enemy has a glowing sack or not. Swarm detected. Light him up, miners. Look over here! Could need a new canister. Getting tired of this old rust bucket. The swarm is upon you. Axe out! 
My axes are really awesome, and turns out you can actually throw them on the ground and pick them back up, which is a lot of fun. After finally collecting all the eggs, we were technically done with this mission, but we still need to mine a lot of gold. And I mean a lot of gold. I ended up digging a dome around the gold and then detonating some explosives to cut down on the pickaxe time. I got no ammo left. This made very little difference, as there was just an insane amount of gold here to go through. After finally getting all this gold collected, we had two other friends join so they could reap the rewards of our extensive haul. Finally, it was time to hit that extraction button and get the heck out of here. Look! Drop pod has arrived. Retrieving the mule. Yeah! Drop pod departing in T-minus five minutes. We slap some dice, and ladies and gentlemen, the boys are coming home. Yeah! yeah. Rock on! Boy, is this That's good. one for the books. Retrieving escape pod. By the beard! Come on, guys! By the Rock and stone! Rock and Rock stone! stone. Rock. Rock. Beautiful dwarf! This was a really action-packed mission with a lot of objectives and plenty of bugs to shoot. I ended up with a really nice amount of gold to start off with and hopefully grab a few weapon upgrades. Of course, we had ourselves a little celebratory party and headed out for the next assignment. This game is honestly too much fun and with a few friends it turns into pure chaos. Bump up the difficulty and you have yourself quite the challenge. Can't wait to shoot some more ugly freaks in Deep Rock Galactic and maybe have a drink or two. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.